Uh, hi guys and welcome back to my channel um okay firstly you're going to notice throughout the video that these are going to not going to be my nails the whole way through i had already filmed an intro for this video but for some reason um my computer won't let me upload it, although it's on my video it's saying for i have file format error or something so i thought it'd be just quick and easier to redo the intro then to try and um sort it out on the computer this simple little gel polish little nail varnish probably the cheapest on the market is solving a lot of problems for me as you all know i have contact dermatitis and i can't really use my gels at the moment so um i have all these glitters and powders um and i haven't been able to use them until i've tried it with this i've tried loads of polishes and this seems to be the best one this is allowing my gels my sorry this is allowing my powders and my glitters my pigments to adhere to my nail without having to use a gel polish um and you can pick it up in most pharmacies uh drugstores chemists whatever you call them um this one is black is black i use purple as well in this video but i'm going to apply these to a load of nail pops so just stay with me while i do that and i'll show you how i apply my pigments now without gel polish so this is really all about timing to apply the pigments we want to allow the polish to dry so it's like a no wipe top coat so we don't want it too sticky and um, because we'll smudge it so it's all timing guys so starting off we're going to use this pigment it's a born pretty pigment and it's like um a copper color so the nail pop is tiny little bit tacky so we're going to apply these pigments with our finger it won't work with a brush or won't work with a sponge but as you can see when yeah. we put them on with the finger and um, they just slide and glide on and it's absolutely perfect and i am just over the moon as i was saying before of course i will link below where i got all of these pigments and um, but this is our copper color now we have some reds um, as well and we're going to do some glitters and um, i have some chameleons and i have some chromes and i have some mirrors and of course we will use the famous uh, unicorn pigment as well but now i'm going to use this rust um red rust pigment by born pretty and again i will link below where i got it but just using the exact same method just applying it with the finger and then rubbing and then burnishing and we are using pressure the polish is dry enough that you won't smudge now really this is the reason why i wanted to be able to start using my powders again these chameleon powders from indigo nail labs i absolutely love them i'm just actually cleaning around the pot because uh, i can see there's some excess on the edge of the pot and there's very little in these pots but a little goes a long long way i have about five of these this one is called butterfly there's an alien one and um, which is a green pink shift don't know if you can see this really well on the camera but this is a green purple shift um and i'm in love with these powders i would definitely recommend them so on to the next one this is um the white powders i think there's about seven uh, different colors in this collection uh, it goes on white but when you put it over black it, this what color goes blue but um if you put it over blue it goes more of a neon if you put it over pink it goes a purple these are great and if you put them over white they go pearlescent i love these um powders and again if you have a look at this um technique is working perfect with all of them so i am absolutely delighted now we're on to the glitters and you can see by just um applying the glitter with my finger it's not really adhering the way i'd want it to but if i was to apply glitter to my nails anyhow i would dip my nail into the glitter or i would pour the glitter over the nail which is exactly what i'm going to do and then burnish it on with my finger
now i'll do the exact same with some purple magpie glitters and um, you can really see the difference at the magpies um hollow effect you really just can't beat magpie glitters hands down in my opinion they're the best i love them So now we are on to using the famous unicorn pigment. Now I have done a few videos using this pigment. I will link, link them in the top right hand corner. Go and have a look. As you can see from the empty pot, nearly I have used this pigment a lot. It's usually used over white and it gives a fabulous pinky purpley color shift to it. But when you use it over black, it turns it like this green metallic -y color, which is lovely. Um, but it, as you can see, this technique is definitely working for the pigments. So guys, if you are suffering, why don't you give this gut, this technique a go and you will not regret it. Now you can see that unfortunately this just isn't working um, the way I would have expected to. It is picking it up slightly, um, but there are some black um, patches to it. Now it might be the fact that I had let the uh, polish dry a little bit too much, so I may try that again, but that for me didn't work at all. So on to our mirror chrome, which I've never had success with, even with gel polishes. It goes in mirror, but kind of glittery mirror which I wouldn't be too impressed with um, but unfortunately like the magpies aura hollow um, this this didn't work either and um, it left kind of creases in the polish and the tackiness and all seemed to be perfect for it so unfortunately the two silvers were a bit of a hit or miss compared to all the other colored pigments and the glitters etc so here are those final nail pops unfortunately the mirror chrome and the hollow um are an epic fail but the rest worked out absolutely fantastic i don't know if you can see the shift on the colors there on the chameleon which is one of my favorite powders and um, that i have that i've been so disappointed that i haven't been able to use and um, because of the dermatitis now look at that it's absolutely stunning guys halloween nails can you see this um burnt orange and rust on your nails wouldn't it be absolutely fabulous now with in regard to the glitters um you definitely have to just pour it on the nail and then you're burnish burnishing it in um with your finger again and i think they worked perfectly you can definitely see the difference in the quality between the born pretty there and the magpie you really cannot beat magpie glitters hands down i'm just going to turn on my light there and um, so you can see these glitters better so there they are guys with the light on and aren't they absolutely stunning as i said i haven't top coated any of these yet um, but I will just top coat them and let you guys have one final look. So there we have the final images all top coated. You can see with the red and the gold um, powders, the ones on the bottom I've top coated with a water based top coat and they stayed much more um, vibrant. They went, they didn't go dull but they just went darker with a regular top coat but the rest of them have a regular top coat on. Um, I didn't bother with the silvers, the hollow and the, the um, mirror chrome because they were just yeah it just didn't work with those silvers but if you like this idea guys you should definitely give it a go if you're having any trouble at all with uh, the gels or um anything like that this is definitely a workaround using some of these lovely powders that are out there on the market so that's it for today guys if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button until the next one stay safe bye